Um, my question is concerned about the time you need to spend on the project. Um, like, how many hours uh, in terms of days or week do you expect students to spend on the, on, on the project? Since like students normally have like part-time jobs or courses or some some other things to do in the summer. So like, how many hours in terms of days or weeks? Do you spend? That's a hard question, and it's yeah. commonly it's debated on the. 40 it's hours a week. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, they're no, paying it's, you, it's a job. It, it, it is a hard question, because it, and it's actually commonly debated on the mentors yeah. list. Yep. Some organizations want 40 hours a week. Uh, you are being paid a uh, sizable amount of money. Half of the four, 4,500? That is, no, that's 4,500. So yeah, a sizable um, amount of chump change. <laughs> but you're, you're, you're yeah. being paid money. Um, in the Ruby project, uh, we did not necessarily expect you to work on it eight hours a day, uh, five days a week, but we did not want other jobs to get in the way of the success of the project. The reality is that um, you're not likely to succeed if you are trying to do Summer of Code as a part-time job with a, another full-time job. If you've got it as a part-time job and another part-time yeah. job, maybe. Yeah. But I'd say that it really depends on the organization that you go with because some of them, uh, like I said, you're getting professional experience and I believe there are examples of Summer of Code students who have been hired oh, yeah. by organization, by, by businesses that use some of this stuff. Oh, yeah. So Summer of Code can be seen as a long-term... Right. One of the students yeah. I mentored was hired by Mozilla recently. Yeah. I've heard okay. that Google uh, hires a ton of people. Google yeah, Google hires yeah. Uh, many uh, Summer of Code. Uh, for, for, for GCC, we, we don't care. Yeah. Uh, if you want, you can work, uh, you know, from 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. As long as it gets done, yeah. largely we don't care. Yeah, I, I guess my experience is that people who actually have a full-time work find it that the, the 4,500 is not worth the work. So they quit. Yeah. <laughs> if yeah. you have a part-time, it may work if you are still motivated enough. And honestly, I've seen some projects require that you would not have anything else because you have you are applying for this job but on the other hand I've seen students like taking two weeks off and all in all it's, it's about what you can deliver if you're if you're an awesome key has like programmer I've seen projects I've, I've seen someone of course a student do the work in only two weeks seriously wow. yeah yeah, or, or people who... It, it's about learning. It's, yeah. If you need more learning, uh, then it takes you more time. If, if, in that case, the student already knew the code base, he, he was a programmer contributor to the project, he, he proposed this, an amount of work that was a, full, a, a sum of code size of, size of project, but for him it was two weeks. So yeah, we yeah. don't expect... We just just propose what you can actually do. I think that, the, the, the results are the point. biggest. The results yeah. are the biggest thing. If you I mean, can get the results done quickly, bonus. Good for you. Yeah. Is, I say forty uh, hours a week, but really, it's not like anyone is going to be peering over your shoulder for eight hours a day. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. if you work two hours and it looks like you worked eight hours, yeah. You know, and nobody really cares. No. No. It's, um, it's a good lesson in life yeah. because you're, you're you're being asked to be professional and be realistic. So, yeah. Uh, so it's mostly learning. If you if you start reading on the internet and end up in a Wikipedia page and spend five hours there. It looks like you worked for eight hours, but the project didn't make any, make any progress. On the other hand, and that applies at your real job too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like my my real job is like that. My manager doesn't care how many hours I work. When he he wants results, he, he's not here. Yeah. He's like in Boston. So when he pinged me on IRC, he asks me if I got that performance numbers out. Yeah. He doesn't care if I spend time on it or not, or I was partying last night. He just wants the result. Yeah, I'd I, I like to add something. Uh, that, that we also kind of like to look for uh, something which is a meaningful at the end of the yes. project. So it is a, if, if the project can be scaled down in the beginning in the discussion phase, if the project can be scaled down mm -hmm. to fit the time that the student has, 
uh, and still be a meaningful piece of code that contributes something to the project in terms of functionality or documentation, or whatever, then, then by all means it's a very good project. But if it becomes code that cannot be used or it's like uh, not finished, you know what I mean? Yeah. Then that, 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 that's not good. So it really, it's really important to, to understand that certain types of projects can be cut down. And if you don't have that much time, maybe those are the types of projects that are okay. But uh, some projects are difficult to cut down without destroying the project itself, and, and those require much more dedication. Yeah. So uh, it varies from project to project.